Hello guys, good evening. This is Mike Padua and this is our audio very and this is our topical weather analysis for this Thursday to Saturday, February 23 to 25, 2023. And this brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest graph set for today, uh, which we issued this morning. And we have the Northeast Monsoon still along the narrow edges of the Philippine Islands over the West Philippine Sea affecting uh, uh, Scarborough Shoal or the Panatag Shoal and also Clayan Island Group and it's also affecting uh, the uh, areas of Cagayan Valley, Cordillera Administrative Region as well as the northern portion of Ilocos Provinces that's Ilocos Norte while the rest of the Philippine Islands will have Fine, fair, it's, uh, nice weather all across the country. But in the afternoon and evening, we expect some rain showers or thunderstorm. Most particular, most especially over, uh, Visayas and uh, Mindanao. There are no developing LPs or trade of par, just a couple of surface trough or new actorial trough. And, uh, if we take a look at the, uh, fast animation, there you go. These are low. Slow moving uh, clouds from the east generating some thunderstorms. And uh, here's the zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. It also shows how clear the uh, Philippine Islands, except for the northern portions of Luzon, where some cloudy conditions will be expected because of the northeast monsoon. We have here a uh, stray thunderstorms developing from a uh, slow easterlies and it's bringing some thunderstorms over the southern tip of uh, uh, summer or uh, Giwan. and uh, if we take a look at the uh, wind forecast for the next three days until Sunday and we are going to extend it until Tuesday from February 28 we have uh, another surge of the northeast monsoon expected to strengthen during the midnight of Saturday, February 25, it will affect extreme northern zone and uh, around noon time of Saturday, February 25, it will extend across the eastern coastal waters of Luzon down to uh, Pulilio Island and Saturday evening it will spread all across northern Quezon. But Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon we have the northeast monsoon extending down across the Bicol region and eastern Visaya. So there are some uh, likelihood of rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly between Saturday and Sunday. On Monday, February 27, the northeast monsoon will prevail, weakening on uh, the last day of the uh, month of February, February 28. We see here the northeast monsoon slowly weakening. And on March 1, Wednesday, the winds will return back to normal. Light northeasterly winds will be expected. So that's the latest from the approach of the northeast monsoon. Now let's take a look at the rain forecast from today until Tuesday. So by tomorrow afternoon, we expect some rain showers and thunderstorms over uh, Albay, Sustragon, and uh, Tanawanes, while uh, the rest of Beagle will have cloudy skies with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms by tomorrow afternoon. Friday, Saturday uh, morning to the evening, we have the surge of the northeast monsoon, bringing some showers and possible thunderstorms over the Beagle region and the eastern sections of Luzon. Sunday, February 26th, the northeast monsoon will remain, bringing some rain showers and uh, occasional rain showers across eastern Luzon and the big region, as well as Oriental Mindoro. And on uh, Monday, February 27, uh, more rainfall will be expected, but already shifting across the Visayas and some Ranga Peninsula. This is more of a localized uh, thunderstorms. And the last day of uh, February, February 28, the uh, rainfall will diminish and it's only concentrated across the Visayas and northeastern Mindanao. And on Monday, March 1, that rainfall and possible development of a shear line is expected over eastern Visayas and northeastern Mindanao, where Shergao and uh, Dinagat Islands are located. Now, let's take a look at the uh, latest global tropics hazards by the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, issued uh, yesterday, I mean on last uh, Tuesday. And for week two, 
valid March 1 to March 7, the Philippine Islands will remain normal. So we are going to have a normal climate except for the southern tip of Palawan. There will be some likelihood of above average rainfall but is uh, currently uh, more than 50% based on the forecast of March 1 to March 7. Now, third week of um, March 3 to March 14, uh, still normal climate will be expected across the Philippine Islands. So likely the rainfall will be much lower with more sunshine and winds because of the northeast monsoon and some clearing of the uh, weather conditions here in the Philippine Islands. Uh, probably uh, there'll be a, it's going to ha have some vague during the March during the first to the second week of March or on the uh, week two or week three of our uh, hazards outlook. Okay, so there you go. That's the latest for today, and uh, we will be back this weekend to give you more updates in the weather, particularly the approach of another surge of the Northeast monsoon and shoreline from Typhoon 2000. This is Mike Padua saying good night to all, and uh, if always, thank you so much for watching our channel.